This is actually the original wood from 1962. It's still in pretty good shape, but it's not going to last that much longer. Uh, when I take the bed wood off, it's nice if we can do the bolts from underneath. You have two bolts here, two there, two there, two there. Total of eight that are holding everything on. You also have to make sure that you disconnect all your lights and all of your grounds. And after that's done, you can still be sure that something else is still connected. So when you try to lift it off, be careful. Don't John Wayne it. Take a couple of practice tests to make sure that the um, exhaust, for instance, doesn't have a hanger hanging onto the bed. I've seen that done before. But we went ahead and we oiled up all of these nuts and bolts last night so that it'd be free this morning. They are so rusted that they are not going to come out. That's pretty typical. In that case, a lot of times the wood is so old, you could just break it away, not a big deal. If that's not the case, just get yourself a screwdriver, hammer, some safety glasses, knock enough of the wood away to where you won't uh, have any problem getting access to the bolt right down here, and now I can cut this off. <laughs> So we'll just go ahead and do that for the rest of them. We'll have this bolt bed off in no time. So when you're cutting things and you're grinding things, all those little sparks, if they're gonna land on your glass, they will burn right in and you are never gonna polish it out. So if you wanna protect your glass and you wanna protect your paint, you better make sure you cover it before, not after. We've got everything disconnected. You're gonna to wanna to double check at each corner and make sure that you can lift it up without any problems. You can have all different kinds of weird things that were assembled onto it a long time ago and is forgotten about and you didn't notice. So after we are sure everybody is cool, then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly walk the bed down the frame. And when we get to the end of the frame, the bed's going to start to tilt down. When it does, we're going to take a blanket and we're going to make sure that it's covering the bed about right here. It's probably going to be about like that. So then we're going to take the bed, we'll flip it up 90 degrees, then we'll go ahead and bring it down onto its back, if you will. That's going to give us a lot more exposure to the rest of these bolts, and this is going to come apart a lot easier. So you can see there's a lot of different ways of taking your bed apart, but normally the, all of the bolts are going to be rusted, and cutting them off is going to be the easiest way to do it. Just be careful, take your time, clean up after, you're going to be fine. Now, once we got the bed off and all apart, now we're going to start cleaning things up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find the cheapest oven cleaner we can find, or at least a good price on it, and we're going to spray everything down. Now, before we do that, we're going to lay plastic on the ground right here so it captures all of this old grease and grime and uh, stuff that's built up over the years. So I'll chump off as much of that with a, something like this here as possible, and then I'll go ahead and spray the oven cleaner on it. I'll let it soak in for a little bit, and then we'll hit it with a pressure washer, and we'll be hitting it with this here too, a combination of. Now let's take a look at the front end and see what we did. So at first glance, you might think taking the whole front end off might be a bit much, but we're going to be able to kill two birds with one stone when we're painting the back of the frame. We'll be able to paint this here. We'll be able to hit inner fenders and take care of some nooks and crannies that you wouldn't get to any other way. Also, it's just not that hard to take off your front end. You only have a couple of bolts right here, one down at the bottom, one here on your inner fender, and you got your radiator core support bolts. Now, of course, you're going to have some electrical. When you're cutting your electrical, don't cut it all in the same spot, okay? You want to do it like this, where you've got about an inch and a half between each one. If you do them all in the same spot, and you do all the repairs in the same spot, now you're going to have one large lump in your repair. But branching it out like this, it's going to make it a bit more even, and you won't have that um, snake that just swallowed a pig look in your electrical system. So we're going to get this all cleaned up, and we'll see what comes next. Stay tuned.